Yeah, so it goes back to, you know, the. it used to be that a company was expected to only focus on one thing called P, the profit. What is my net profit after tax? The What they call the bottom line. And now people talk about the triple bottom line or the triple P. So planet, people and profit. So in the 1970s, it became very fashionable for economists to start writing theories that the sole reason that a company exists is to make money. But that was not true. If you look at the history of India, look at how India grew under Prime Minister Nehru after independence. You, they gave licenses to the Tatas, the Birlas, the automobile companies who built huge factory townships. So the Birlas built an aluminum factory in Renukut. The Tatas built a steel factory in Jamshedpur. And when I used to visit those townships, it was amazing. I mean, as recently as the mid-1990s, those townships ran everything. The factory in Renukut not only was responsible for manufacturing aluminum, but it ran the water system, it ran the school, it ran the gardens, it ran the parks, it ran the housing, it had the cinema, and those days there was no multiplex with, you know, good comfortable seats, but it ran everything effectively, right? So it looked after the whole community. Its workers were given housing, there were playgrounds, there were cricket fields, everything. You go to Jamshedpur, I remember I went there in 94, there was no plastic bottles in those days or a lot less if I remember correctly. And I was feeling very thirsty while at the factory visit. And, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to drink water, but I was very scared being a Bombay person, whether if I drink water in Jamshedpur, what will happen my stomach and I do have a very, kind of a very fragile immune system. Um, so the plant manager realized that I was nervous and he said, no, no, you can drink the water from this tap. And I said, really? From the tap? I don't even drink water from the tap in Bombay. He said, no, this is Jamshedpur. We run the water over here. You can drink the tap. And I drank from the tap and it was fine. So, you know, they ran everything, right? And society at that time and uh, corporates had this wonderful coexistence that you work for me, for the Tatas, for the Birlas, you're lifelong. You look after me, I look after you. Uh, somewhere in the 1990s, and we're probably partly responsible for that because we were lobbying for all this corporate change action and, you know, having us focus more and become more westernized, probably went too westernized and too capitalist. I guess companies stopped worrying about their staff. They stopped worrying about society around them. They started focusing because of research analysts and investment bankers. Again, you can blame that on quantum because we kind of created that uh, enterprise, I guess, of not of quarterly profits, but of research reports. Uh, everyone started focusing on quarterly reports, on quarterly numbers. So the virus of Wall Street, of looking at quarterly numbers, kind of got imported into India, sadly. And you had this break and this sort of complete disconnect where companies now said, I need to earn a quarterly profit so that my share price, price looks good. If my share price looks good, I as a CEO get these outsized bonuses, outsized salaries, outsized ESOPs. And with my outsized wealth, I can do whatever I want to the world. And if I have to cut a few staff along the way, so be it. So you had this new kind of equation for many decades in India and for many, many more decades in the Western world where there was a disconnect between what the company's objectives were. It became only that single P, profit. And they didn't really care about the planet and they didn't really care about the people. So there's a massive revival now to go back to what capitalism was supposed to be. The capitalist society that's described to us today is not what was thought of even by John Maynard Keynes or by Adam Smith. They thought about a capitalist society and a government which integrates everything with companies and societies, not what we're seeing today. So now there's kind of a reversion to that uh, a reversal rather, you know, to that mean, if you will.
Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.